Hi surfers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a crazy work week. Um, I had a lot of work with my day job, but now it's finally Friday, end of the week, and now I have time for another video. Um, I just noticed that uh, this channel reached 300 subscribers, so I'm uh, very happy about this. I know it's still a small number compared to other um, channels, but nevertheless, I'm very happy. Thank you all 300 uh, subscribers and everybody else that still didn't subscribe you are invited and very welcome so just hit the subscribe button uh what else is new um i already know um announced that i have now also facebook profile and instagram profile uh, where I post everyday daily readings, uh, which I keep short and simple because I'm not a fan of very long daily readings. So I just uh, post there a picture of cards and um, two, three sentences. Uh, so just for the day to begin. Um, so please check it out and you can of course follow me. Uh, then another new thing is that now you can also get a reading on Visio. Visio means uh, is another platform where you get uh, pre-recorded personal uh, personalized video readings. So mm, the link is in the description box. You can also check it out there. Um, I have more selections, so more um, more possibilities of the reading. So I'm available also there for reading for reading for you. Um, and of course, still my email is also available for private readings. So um, you can use whatever way you want. Okay, today's topic. Uh, today's topic will be, um, is it over, will they reach out? So, is it over between you and your person and will they reach out? This we will try to determine today, this we will check out. Um, this is the selection, I use it in previous videos but i like it <laughs> so i will use it today again so group number one will be group sun group number two will be moon and group number three will be stars so sun moon and stars uh pick the group you like the most the uh, group that you are drawn to or um that you that you like the most so just sit back and relax uh, please bear in mind that this is a general reading uh, all the choices you make are your own and you don't need to use this reading to make your own choices you have your own free will so topic is is it over between you two will they reach out so if you are ready we can begin Hey, group number one, this is for everybody that picked up sun. So, question is, is it over between you two? Will he reach out or will she reach out? So, let's see. Whoa, okay. I even didn't start shopping, so we won't take these cards. <clears throat> so... Is it over between you two?
full. Full is bottom card. So this is first card of Major Arcana. Uh, it, it means taking new leap of faith, new beginning. Okay, new beginning. Um, so right now from this card, um, okay, there, there are two possibilities. Does he want to have new beginning with you or there is new beginning on the horizon? So with a new person, but definitely, uh, in every point of view, there is a new beginning for for you. Okay. So let's see, is it over between you two? King of Swords, again the Fool, and Queen of Cups. <laughs> wow, what an interesting trio we have here. So, no, this is really interesting. So here we have King of Swords. This could be someone that is... Um, air sign so aquarius uh gemini libra uh and on the other side we have queen of cups so this could be someone who is water sign so um <laughs> cancer pisces or scorpio why i'm laughing because it's so interesting really interesting and uh if you um you can check also other videos where I um, made um, readings on different uh, zodiac signs on different groups. So if you are air sign and he's water sign, or in this case, if you are water sign and he's air sign, what can you expect? So uh, maybe I recommend that you check also this video maybe it will shed some light on this situation but um i mean wow <laughs> i so definitely new beginning between those two persons okay new taking new leap of faith somehow i don't know why i just i'm interpreting what i'm feeling what um where intuition uh, is leading me. Somehow I feel that um, he is stubborn, but you are a loving person and you are ready to forgive him everything and you would like to <laughs> you would like to begin fresh and new with him. Okay. But for him I'm not so sure because King of Swords is he can be cold um, with harsh words, uh, very rational. So I don't feel a lot of emotions in him. But you on the other side, you are emotional, nurturing, loving, full of emotions. So somehow I feel that you are more um, interested in this new beginning but nevertheless it, it is between uh, between you two even if you look okay he is looking very sharp uh, straightforward okay and you are looking in his direction so um, I think that you are the initiator here okay I mean you are the Sun here okay you do have here Sun on this card so um, you are here, I would say, you are the light, you are the sun, and he is the night, okay? <laughs> so, uh, you are the day, he is night, or you are the sun, and he is the night. So, uh, looks like there is some new beginning here. Uh, but again, I would say, because this is a general, general reading, uh, so possibly that this is new beginning with your person or with someone new. Okay, because the full is first card of Major Arcana, so this is a new cycle, new beginning. Um, with could be possibly with someone who is air sign. So um, consider also uh, the Sun Moon uh, rising or Venus sign. Um, but again, it's not necessary. So let's pull out some more cards. I would like to know. Wow. And now the bottom card is tower. So this means change. So is it over between you two? 
this over between you two. Knight of Wands, new player, and King of Wands. Wow, now this is interesting. I mean, you saw me shuffling and I pulled out randomly. So, <laughs> wow, I mean, I think you have quite a selection here. Okay, this doesn't necessarily mean that there are new players in town. It's also probably, it also can mean that you are in this energy, okay? That your person or you are in um, those energies. So Knight of Wands, King of Wands. So this is some passion, passion and uh, energy. But somehow I don't see this, how would this go together with uh, King of Swords? that king of swords would change suddenly into king of wands because wands this is fire this is energy um so somehow i would more say that <laughs> there is new player in town and because knight of wands escalates to king of wands so that there is new new person coming into your life and this is someone more passionate could be that at first this would be maybe a bit more sexual um but it is also someone who is very good at um um manifestations so someone who is realizing whatever they are determined to do they will they will do it okay so in one so here we have fire once so you could be dealing with fire sign um aries leo or sagittarius so <laughs> still i see here more choices so if you will begin again uh, with this your king of swords this could relate or i would say escalate to some passion uh, but uh, because usually traditionally king of swords are not so passionate and emotional so um, somehow i would say that there is someone new coming your way or maybe even two persons are coming your way uh, maybe your age or someone older and this could be a new beginning okay so let's see what's the potential outcome here okay something is jumping out healing sun so definitely new beginning this confirms it potential outcome here knight of pentacles <laughs> the sun and ace of cups definitely new beginning with new person now there is so uh, so many cards that are showing on new relationship, new new persons in your life. So, and it looks really good. So I would say yes, this is over between you two, but in a good way, okay? Because it looks like that there is something for you so much much better than this relationship. I somehow feel that this King of Swords was somehow toxic for you, okay? And maybe at now at this moment you still wish another chance with him but look here we have fire and now even the knight of pentacles came with some sort of offer okay so i would say that you have a lot of admirers <laughs> a lot of fans so new persons are coming and look in the potential outcome here we have the sun which is the most positive 
card in uh, in the whole deck. So this is a big yes for you. And Ace of Cups. I mean, this is the most beautiful card for a new relationship. So this is new love, new new air. This um sorry water, um drops of water, drops of love. Um, this is new romantic, new loving relationship, and you will you will get your offer. Um, here we have Knight of Pentacles, so possibly that there is another, even a third person here, so someone who is Earth sign, um, but he is slow. Let me remind you of that. So he's very slow in his motions, in his actions, but he's very stable, okay? So he comes with an offer of a stable relationship, with stable offer for you, um, and definitely someone who can... Um, who can equal you in your emotions and feelings but this king of swords i feel that he is cold and he is not for you so i would say that um um uh, this it is over between you two but i think it's good that it is over between you two um i think that this can go like okay if you you want to sum up you want new beginning with with him but there is a fire energy coming uh, coming towards you. So maybe you just take some time off, uh, have some fun. As I said, there could be some sex involved. But then, then comes um, Knight of Pentacles with an offer. So a stable relationship is coming your way. And here we have the Sun, the most positive uh, card in the deck, and Ace of Cups, which indicates a new beginning. So... I would say the new beginning is for you on the horizon, but with a new person. Okay, so um, we still would like to know if he will reach out. So this king of swords, will he reach out? So I would say yes. The answer is yes. It is over between you two, but you never know there still could be some messages or something like this so let's just check uh, will they reach out So we got here a dog, letter and tree. So I would say, yes, there is possible communication between you two. They will reach out, but maybe possibly uh, through a friend of yours. Okay. Uh, maybe through some mutual friend, uh, just to maybe check out to see how you're doing or something like this. Or um, maybe as... Um, they will they will present themselves as a friend so maybe a friend friendly message somehow they will try to um interact with you in a friendly way uh but i would say that this will won't be so soon okay maybe in a while in some time they there will be some communication between you two possibly to a friend or maybe they will want to be friends with you but as a romantic relationship i would say that yes it is over um, so for the end, one answer is simple oracle card for you, group number one. You are not afraid. Definitely you are not afraid of a new beginning, okay? So group number one, sun, sun card. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, check daily readings on Instagram. You can contact me for private reading uh, on email or on Vizio. Check it out. Uh, my offer also there. Um, I hope everything will work out well for you. Um, stay tuned for my next video. Take care and catch your wave.
Moving on to group number two. So welcome everybody that picked up group number two, group moon. So today's question is, um, is it over between you two? Will they reach out? So let's see if we can find an answer to this. So group number two, moon group, is it over between you two? Oh, okay. Um, six of Swords. This is card of moving on, but somehow I don't feel I should take it. Ace of Swords, Clarity, so Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, Clarity, moving on, so is it over between you two? Again, Six of Swords, so this card, Six of Swords really wants to be out here, so Six of Swords, moving on, uh, leaving, lovers. And the Empress. Wow, what an interesting combination we have here. Wow, <laughs> so is it over between you two? Hmm, my first idea, let me tell you, <laughs> involves. Look, this is a general reading, please <laughs> bear that in mind. I'm just expressing my first ideas because for me, this is like. I say this every time. For me, this is like connecting the dots to save, to, to solve a puzzle. And my first impression after those three cards was um, that his mother is involved. <laughs> Maybe sounds crazy, but I think that his mother is somehow involved. Let me explain you why. So true explanation i hope we will get some clarity as ace of swords was indicating so some clarity um why okay let's go step by step so first here we have six of swords and here we have a man who is taking his family somewhere so here we have a child here here we have a very uh, possibly female figure so someone who is leaving okay so six of swords is indicating on some sort of leaving something but definitely this means moving forward then here we have two major arcanas so lovers lovers definitely indicate um what this is so lovers loving relationship lovers um as in real term um but at the same time Whenever lovers show up, this can also mean um, a choice. So that one of you or both of you have to choose between the things or two persons if you want to have this relationship. Okay, so I feel that here is some choice. Some choice that you have to make or he has to make. Um, and Empress. Empress is a mother. Okay, loving, nurturing, um, queen of all queens, mother. So you see where I'm going with this. So I feel that your relationship was affected somehow, um, that you are in some, um, at some point where there is some choice to be made. And I feel like <laughs> that this is him choosing between you and his mother. Maybe his mother doesn't like you or I don't know, whatever. You know how mothers in law <laughs> can be. So somehow I feel that here is some sort of a choice and definitely moving on um, 
so he will make some he will make a choice so at some at this point i can't say right now is it over or not because i i think that this still uh wasn't decided okay the this the deci the, the decision still wasn't made the, the decision the decision is still hanging in the air okay because lovers are the central card so Empress is influencing this and there is some sort of a choice. So some choice to be done. And I think that he is choosing between you and his mother. So, but as I said, this is a general reading and I'm giving my first impression, my first idea that I got here. So let's pull some more cards. Over between the two. Knight of Wands. So you could be dealing possibly with fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And nine of cups, which means that the wishes are coming true. So I wouldn't say that this is over. No, but this choice between, I don't know, it's not necessarily between his mother. Okay. Maybe some other person who is very important, important to him in his life. Um, but as I said, Empress is queen of the old queen's mother. You see, uh, she is even uh, pregnant and so on. Um, and now here we have two very positive cards. So Knight of Wands, this is someone who is very passionate, very energetic, um, someone who um, is very good at manifestations. So they are ready to... Um, to make things happen um, as I said could be possibly uh, fire sign so Aries Leo Sagittarius and here we have nine of cups which is very positive card in love wishes are coming true so I would say that this is not over yet but again this is hanging in the air this decision so let's see what's the potential outcome here Temperance, again, Major Arcana, uh, Three of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles, and Page of Cups as bottom card, so Offer of Love. Wow, um, <laughs> I feel that there will be some... Hmm, Definitely, this is not over yet. Definitely, this is not over yet. But as I was saying before, so here we have lovers. I was describing the potential that there is some choice between, um, that he is making a choice between you and uh, someone who is important to him, so possibly his mother. And now for the potential outcome, here we have three of swords, which can also indicate on the three persons uh, involved sometimes. So a third party situation, but I don't think that this is a third party situation here but also healing okay um the healing heart um um there is also some pain i i imagine that you are right now in pain because there is a decision to be made um but here we have temperance which means balance so things will work out 
um, but I think that you will have to go through something more okay that this is just definitely it's not over but the whole development um, I think it's not just over that there will be some hard moments uh, that you have to prepare to maintain to some temperance okay to balance um, be calm okay temperance for me means harmony balance so to be calm okay um, that you will have to approach to the situa situation step by step uh, could be some hard times could be some healing of course you have to heal you are going through some major experience but the last card is 10 of pentacles so here we have loving family we have house um child dogs older person so you see i was talking about his mother here we have a couple and some older person here so possibly that at the end everything will work out well with your mother-in-law or with his <laughs> with his mother i even if you are not married so that you will be together in some um so in temperance, in balance, in harmony, you will you will work out your situation, your issues together, and um, you will be possibly happy life, happy wife. <laughs> um, but this card indicates that this will be some more work to do here. So could be still some some pain so that this process will still be painful but definitely looks like that he is um, engaged into all this so if he is this knight of wands if not there is knight of wands energy so passionate um energy fire warmth um to reach this nine of cups so that wishes are coming through so looks good looks good this is not over yet but still issues as i described and as i said bottom card page of cups um offer of a love so you will manage this <laughs> i'm sure of it so now uh, still um stays the question will they reach out so we determined that this is not over yet but will they reach out um i think there will be some time needed because this is not an easy situation. card is path again indicating uh, a decision mm -hmm. yes um, there is some burden right now because here we have a cross and cross is indicating a burden so right now the situation is really not pinky i imagine but here we have stars again so stars um wishes are coming through okay uh shedding light on the matter expansion it also means expansion so i think that slowly communication will grow but um there is a lot of things to clear out because here we have a cross and this means a burden which you don't come overcome just like in one night but there i think that there will be uh, a lot of working uh, a lot of work need to be done but we do have here stars which is very, very positive and letter means the communication so there will be maybe not just right now um as i said a lot of issues to be resolved but definitely not over yet and there will be communication so for the end group number two moon one oracle card for you so answer is simple oracle Wow, 
Whoa. Say I'm sorry and listen to the music. Okay. Um, try to apply this to your situation. I think that the messages are very clear and simple. That's why the oracle is named. The answer is simple. So say I'm sorry. Listen to the music. So um, maybe you have to um, say I'm sorry and listen to the music means that you have to consider also his side um, of the story. And I believe that together you will work this out. Uh, thank you, Group 2, for watching this. Please like, share and subscribe. Check also my daily readings on Instagram. Um, I'm available for private readings. You can contact me on email and also you can check my offer on Visio. The link is in the description box. Um, I hope everything will work out well for you. Stay tuned for my next video. Take care and catch your wave. Hey, group number three, this is for everybody that picked up group stars. So let's see. Topic is, is it over between the two and will he reach out or will she reach out? So your person, will they reach out? So let's see if we can find an answer to this. Is it over between you two group stars? Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, Major Arcana, and the Empress, another Major Arcana. Bottom card is the star, so no, definitely is not over between you two. <laughs> definitely not. Um, but looks like there is some work to do because Seven of Pentacles shows uh, a man who is working on his land and he is watching uh, things to grow, how his, um, if he will pick up the fruits uh, when they will be ripe. So this means a long time, a lot of work to do and you have to be patient okay when you put the seed in the uh, when you plant the seed into the land then take some time that things grow so um, there is a lot of waiting here um, the chariot is the central card here so this shows a movement moving forward uh, with your own free spirit as i might say so rushing rushing to the future so definitely i see here some moving chariot is also a positive card and the empress empress here is queen of all queens nurturing loving mother so uh, someone who is very productive you see she's got here um water trees um what is this um how is this called in english <laughs> out no out um from what the flower is made <laughs> i'm sorry i really don't remember right now the english word for um this um you know what i'm talking about the thing from which is oat, um, flour, cereals, and so on. <laughs> so this is a very productive card. So the Empress card and the Chariot. So moving forward. So I feel like it's not over in between you two. But there is a lot of work need to be done before you can ripe the fruit of your labor so um but there is moving on so definitely things are in progress you are moving on you are um decided to work 
things together so definitely there is not yet over let's take some more cards and chariot also is showing on a decision but in this case i think that you decided that you are ready to work on this relationship so because uh the chariot they uh, chariot has here two sphinx one black and one white so this means either this way or this way so you are in a sort of position of making a decision but definitely chariot means moving on this is not standing still but it means moving on um, because this is the waiting card for me seven of pentacles is waiting card because you are waiting for something in this case to fruit to grow um but this means that there will be a lot of movement but taking time there is taking time there is always a danger that it passes too much time so the actions can slow down or um sometimes if there is too much time can even stop or you between the procedure you you have time to rethink things okay so there will be definitely some rethinking um making decisions but that definitely it will be active because the chariot is active it's moving forward and the empress she is nurturing loving um definitely she's a mother um queen of all queens so definitely a positive uh positive cards here so what else can we pull out here five of wands so some struggle and justice so what's the bottom card two of wands so yes definitely decision making a decision as i said also the chariot means that there is some sort of decision which way you will go and now the two of wands as a bottom card so here we have a man who is staring out to the sea he's holding a globe in his hands and he's making a decision um two of wands means making plans okay you you the idea you already have and now you are making plans how to uh, manifest this idea and now in with this card you are deciding what to do so here we have five of wands which means there we have some fire and it also means struggle because here we we see men are fighting so there is some struggle with this decision but we do have here justice and justice is fair so i think that you will be working on this relationship and i think that you will be deciding whether to end it or not i think this is the case here and you will give yourself and your partner um, and your relationship some time to see where will this go okay um, definitely you are in progress but there there will be some struggling okay there will be some struggling but at the end you reach the justice okay justice is fair uh, justice also means balance you know the scale is balanced um, so it will be fair um, and this can be either way okay if I think that the end will be fair to both of you whatever you decide okay at this point right now uh it's not over yet but i think through the whole process you will decide uh whether to continue or not okay this is the black and white decision okay you are in the progress i think you are resolving the situation um you are on a good way but there is a lot of work uh there will a lot of work need to be done 
And of course, um, when you are resolving that kind of situation, there is also struggle, so it won't be easy. And, you know, also growing your own fr fruit is not easy, okay? It's not just um, that you put the plant in, uh, I'm sorry, seed uh, into the land so that you plant something. Uh, you also have to water it, uh, you have to pull out the weeds, and, you know, the weeds is something that is... Um, not good for your relationship so you you have to nurture this land if you think of your relationship as a land so you have to nurture it uh you have to be loving like the empress nurture it and of course there is some struggle because <laughs> if i continue with this agricultural <laughs> um story um so struggle it is like if you think well I know that there is a lot of weed in my land, but somehow I am lazy and I don't feel like uh, to go there and pull it out. Okay, so you are struggling and you are you say to your partner, you go. Okay, and he's also lazy and he doesn't want to go. And then you, you start to arguing who will now go. You have to go together outside uh to your own uh, garden and pull out the weed okay you have to work together if you want to reach uh the balance um i don't think that this uh <laughs> gardening uh explanation is so um wrong i think it's quite right because it is so uh, relationship is like your growing plant or your land which you have to work so like this man here so let's see what's the potential outcome here uh definitely is not over so <laughs> we see this now but i think that you are in a position of making a decision whether or not it's worth to try it uh, it's worth trying to resolve it four of wands this is great nine of swords this is not so great <laughs> And page of pentacles this is a solid offer and the bottom card is the star so wishes are coming true so the possible outcome here is positive mind you that we do have here nine of swords which means um, sleepless night anxiety worries but here we have four of wands which is solid relationship this is like a wedding this is the most positive card which is a big yes um so it could be also um, that in whole this story we are talking about marriage because we have here justice and this can indicate also marriage together with this card so um, maybe we are talking here also about a marriage or that you because we have the empress card that you even have a family not necessarily because this is a general reading so i'm listing possibilities um so and then the last card here we have page of page of pentacles which means an offer a solid offer so but there is a potential outcome but with as i said before there will be a lot of work there will be some struggles and of course here we have some anxiety worries will this work out or not but i think that this is quite normal when you are trying to work things out with your partner but this is the central card but both positive cards at each side i think they are more positive and this gives the more positive uh, potential outcome so we have here we have a um, card of union and of course of a solid solid offer so here we have very um, very earthy a lot of earth material so here we have discs here we have page of pentacles so pentacles pentacles and empress which is also very earthy figure for me and solid union so there is a lot of potential here uh maybe even marriage or maybe you are trying to um 
to save your marriage because we have here justice and this is related to this four of wands which is union or even marriage or a very solid relationship so possibly that you are um, saving your marriage but at this point right now um, you are um, at the decision so should you solve it or should you not solve it uh, should you work on it there will be a lot of work um, a lot of time uh, we do have here a bottom card the star as I said and star is very positive card so super shining star compass uh, guidance um, also wishes are coming through so um, this is a very positive card and next we have the tower which means change okay doesn't mean that uh, this is bad because uh, people are falling down but it is the change okay change of events change of everything so um, it can even mean new beginning so looks like that you will so definitely it's not over um, but there will be, you have the potential of uh, staying together, uh, of resolving issues, but there will be a lot of work, struggling, some worries, um, and it will be needed a lot of time. So seven of pentacles usually indicates um, end of summer. So yeah, this this situation can can last till end of summer and through summer could be some um, uh, uh, resolving this and page of pentacles of course a positive offer of something material of something solid so definitely not over yet so now we are also wondering if your person will reach out so now we determined that this is not over yet, but there will be a lot of work to resolve this situation. And now we would like to know, will they reach out to you? So let's see. Group stars. Will they reach out? stars again bottom card so expansion this is positive and sun next to it so looks good uh yes there will be communication also they will reach out um we do have here a child which means new beginning so yes page of pentacles offer new offers a uh, new message uh, so child means new beginning letter communication and we have here tower um tower in lenormand can mean also uh, something um big corporation but also can be related to to justice okay to justice system uh, so legal system can be also um also uh, related to this card to tower but tower also means uh loneliness okay and we are asking if they will reach out i think that they will but first they will have to be really really lonely okay i feel like they will have to really really miss you um, and then they will reach out okay and this will be like a new beginning so like um, I feel like this will be like some sort of reconciliation okay with this new beginning look this child is bringing some flowers okay this girl is having a bouquet so this is like like an offer offer that this page is carrying okay so uh an offer of reconciliation but first they will have to be really really <laughs> lonely and they will have to re miss you really really much really really much very 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 much not really much very much excuse my english 
um, very much um, they will be they will have to be really lonely and then they will reach out okay group number three group stars um, looks like everything will work out well for you let me just pull out one more oracle card so the answer is simple oracle reclaim your art try to apply this to your situation um, I would say that this is go back to your basis uh, go back to what you remember of all the good things that happened in your relationship and try to work from that okay so group number three thank you for watching um, please like share subscribe to the channel also check my Facebook or Instagram uh, for daily readings. You can also find me on my webpage. You can contact me for e in email for private reading. And I also have offers for reading on my Visio site. The link is in the description box. Um, I think this is it. I hope everything will work out well for you. Stay tuned for my next video. Take care and catch your way.